God is a word God. Let me give some lip service to that, but I'm going to walk you through it a little bit farther than most people are willing to go. Because this works. If you can get a hold of this, this will work for you. The Holy Ghost Jesus is God in the right. earth today, and you walk with him by saying Holy words. Ghost, my name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, then consider becoming a partner with us. Luke 10, verse 40, but Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, Dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, that she help me. <laughs> Verse 41, And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. Say many things. Many things. But one thing. Say one thing. one thing. One thing is needful. Who said this? Jesus. Jesus. One thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part. What she chose, say what she chose, what she chose. was greater than the serving part. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Yes. And just getting up, making sure everybody was happy, and you know, they had drinks and all that stuff. What was she doing? She was hearing the word so hearing the word i'm just i'm just bringing it up to you okay hearing the word was a greater service than just doing all the stuff mm -hmm. say than just doing all the stuff because we have, we have a lot of people that are just doing all the stuff that aren't hearing the word and jesus said that it's greater so some things are lesser some things are greater mm -hmm. can you see that in this verse of scripture that's really what I'm trying to bring out here. Say, some things are lesser, some things are lesser. and some things, are greater. some things are greater. What do you want? You want the greater, right? Well, what's that going to get you lots of times, but criticized by others? Mm -hmm. I can preach on lots of stuff, and I have preached on lots of things. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said one thing is needful, so you'd think you'd give a little bit extra on that one thing, right? Yes. If that's the one thing that's needful well I'm telling you this is the one thing that's needful for a lot of people mm -hmm. you need this some things are worth some and I'm not saying there isn't some value to a lot of the things we could preach on mm -hmm. but this one thing I'm gonna be say one thing, one thing. this one thing I'm gonna be talking about weighs a lot more than all those other things it's greater mm -hmm. because this works we can go down the rabbit trail of all the other doctrines and all the other things that maybe you should be doing mm -hmm. like Jesus didn't tell Mary that she shouldn't be doing the other stuff but she's he said she chose what was greater mm -hmm. I've asked this before do you want results or you just want a good feeling yes you understand mm -hmm. because I feel good about having results then just feeling religiously good about myself you see the two here did you think you think mary felt religiously good about herself probably not no. how about martha oh yeah she had it all together are you here but one produces results the other one is just doing stuff not that the stuff is bad are you here yes. say the stuff isn't bad but this is better yeah. because this gets results mm -hmm. all right this works and this is what you need God is a word God mm -hmm. we give some lip service to that but I'm gonna walk you through it a little bit farther than most people are willing to go because this works if you can get a hold of this this will work for you John chapter 1 verse 1 in the what beginning. beginning in the beginning was the word and 
the word was with god and the word was god now if i make this statement like me or not and i say that god is a word god and then i read this verse of scripture and the word was god how can you have a problem with me he is a word god which means now did he change from being a word god well from the beginning no he changeth not he's still a word god today genesis chapter 1 and verse 1 in the beginning god well we know he's a word god from that other verse right in the beginning god the word god created the heavens and the earth where's that that's up and what you're standing on mm -hmm. the heavens and the earth how did god create it with words read on here and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god or literally the spirit god say the spirit god, spirit god. moved upon the face of the waters and god said let there be light mm -hmm. so all this stuff started coming into being by god saying something yes. he's a word god he says things and we can see here from those verses of scripture that he is a spirit god that says things say he's a spirit god, he's a spirit that, god. Says that says things and not only does he say things you can see that they come to pass mm -hmm. he's a spirit god that says things and they come to pass genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over what oh, yeah. all the earth god created us mm -hmm. in his image mm -hmm. he is a spirit god that says words and they come to pass then he created us in his image as a spirit being mm -hmm. that says words and they should come to pass mm -hmm. if he created us in his image that's what we know his image to be he's a spirit that speaks words and believes they come to pass we should be a spirit being that speaks words and believes they come to pass hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear how were the worlds framed by the word of god but this says through faith we or by faith we now remember we were created in god's image he speaks words and believes they come to pass well by faith we are of the same faith this is our faith mm -hmm. how could you have any other faith than one that's based on what god created you to be mm -hmm. well this is our faith this is how we do this is how he do this is how we do say he do he we do. we do this is our faith everything functions this way everything in the earth the whole earth was created by god speaking words and believing they come to pass then he put us in it in his image what should our faith be the same well everything functions this way the word is still god or god is still the word and he's still over all the earth did he cease to be god did he cease to be the a word god no then we're still in that situation we're in a world made out of his words say we're in a world made out of his words they came into being via his words and now they will obey his words he's still a word god over all of the earth
but psalms 24 1 says the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein that's everything whose is it the lord's the earth is the lord's lord who the word god well when we begin to know him and I'm, you know that i'm talking about the holy ghost the holy ghost is the one who spoke those words we saw that way back in the beginning of genesis he was a spirit god who spoke words he's a word god well if we get to know him as a word god then we walk with him by saying words we walk with him say with him, with him. right if we're walking with him and he's a god who says words then what are we going to be doing saying words mm -hmm. that's how you walk with a god who says words mm -hmm. is this too difficult no. say that's how i walk with a god that's how i walk with a god who says words. says words so we walk with him by saying words specifically speaking in agreement with him that's how you walk with him mm -hmm. Amos 3 3 how can two walk together except they be agreed so there are things that you need to have settled if you're gonna go on and this is one many don't have this settled many have let been have, haven't even been taught this before that you need to have this settled if you're going to go on because many things depend on it in your future if you want to walk with God you're not gonna walk with him any other way do we try to walk with him any other way yes many other ways seem a little bit more comfortable to our specifically religious thinking mm -hmm. than just saying words and believing they come to pass specifically saying his words he's a word God though are you here mm -hmm. I'm helping you out you need help but I'm here to help you if you can hear it mark chapter 11 verse 22 and Jesus answering and saith unto them have faith in God now if you have a margin in your Bible I have a little number two there in a margin in my Bible and it says have the faith of God well what do we know the God kind of faith to be from the very beginning he spoke words and they came to pass mm -hmm. so what are the things are you still here mm -hmm. I'm helping you out what are the things that God said because he speaks things and believes they come to pass what are the things that God has said mm -hmm. his word mm -hmm. Amen. he's spoken his word it's here in your hand mm -hmm. Jesus said have the faith of God now these things that he said did God release his faith in those things that he said well I got news for you what is it Romans 10 17 says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God well if faith comes by hearing the Word of God what faith comes by hearing God's faith it's the faith that he released in that word it's still in that word mm -hmm. so when he says have the faith of God where is the faith of God it's in the word it's in the word say God's faith, God's faith. is in the word. in the word not just your faith it's his faith that's encapsulated in that word mm -hmm. he's released it he's said it and believes it comes to pass it's in his word and that's why faith comes by hearing and hearing the word so Jesus says have the faith of God or have faith in God have say have, have. the faith of, God. faith of God get it possess it have it now what will the faith of God produce what it says because he released his faith in the word that he said and it will produce the thing he said yeah. Isaiah 55 verse 11 so shall my word be 
that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper say prosper. prosper it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it does this sound like God mm -hmm. this is how he does things he sends forth his word and believes that it will not return to him void but it will accomplish the thing he said mm -hmm. and prosper yes. so every word of God has the ability the power the faith to bring itself to pass he says it will not return void it shall accomplish and it shall prosper it will do it say it will do it, it, will do it. well well what if it doesn't God already said it will mm -hmm. he also said it won't return void oh God what if it returns void it won't mm -hmm. I believe that if I speak the Word of God it will come to pass specifically in my life mm -hmm. say I believe, I believe that, if I speak that if I speak the Word of God, the word of God it will come, it will come to, pass to pass in my life, in life. I'm one of those I'm one of those that believe that if I speak the Word of God it will come to pass have you experienced this you speak the Word of God specifically promises you can understand that right if I speak a promise of God it will come to pass it won't return to God void without producing it will accomplish and it will prosper because yes. I believe it You're too late for me you can't talk me out of it I believe that when I'm speaking the Word of God I'm walking with God who is a word God mm -hmm. and that word comes to pass in my life I believe that when I'm speaking the Word of God I'm walking with God who is a word God and that word comes to pass in my life go back to mark eleven twenty three. for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith whosoever shall say well if you're not gonna say forget about it you can't fulfill this verse of scripture whosoever shall say and shall not doubt in his heart the word doubt we get the word uh, duplicity from it meaning is to go both ways so the, re the reality here is whosoever shall say and not back off from it not say something else mm -hmm. you're not gonna say two different things duplicity means speaking two different things so whosoever shall say and shall not doubt in his heart or shall not speak contrary in his heart to the things that he said you can do that don't be double tongued but shall believe believe what that the mountain will be removed what's he gonna believe let me read it again verily I say unto you whosoever shall say unto the mountain be thou removed be thou cast into the sea shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass what are you supposed to believe you're supposed to believe the things you sayeth not that the mountains gonna be removed this is where people get all caught up I can't believe the mountains gonna be removed I can't believe the sickness will go away I can't believe the money will come in they're trying to believe the wrong thing mm -hmm. you're not designed to believe that you were created and designed 
to believe the things you say come to pass that's what you believe you believe your words are going to bring it to pass you believe your words are going to bring it to pass well if you're trying to believe the mountain's going to be removed you're believing the wrong thing you're trying to believe the wrong thing if you believe the words you say come to pass you this person that the belief that believes his word the words he says will come to pass will have whatsoever he saith mm -hmm. whatsoever he saith whatsoever he saith Amen. he's believing whatsoever he saith shall come to pass mm -hmm. well the fact is the earth still obeys his word yeah. say the earth, the earth still, still obeys, obeys his, word. his word so the key here is not to just believe your own words but to put his word in your mouth yeah. learn to speak words that already have the faith of god in them mm. the earth will obey those words any manifestation of him the holy ghost the word god mm -hmm. is greater than your circumstance greater than your situation any manifestation of him the holy ghost the word god is greater than your circumstance greater than your situation this is life transforming mm -hmm. if you can get a hold of this he goes on to say but shall believe those things which he saith but shall believe is in the continuous mm -hmm. sense you're believing the things you saith continually say saith continually say continue to say continue to say continue to say continue to say unto unto what unto you having the thing that you said mm -hmm. so what words are we told to say continually psalms 35 27 let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause yay let them say continually if you favor his righteous cause you would say continually let the Lord be magnified which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant of his servant well you're his servant you're serving him you're speaking his words Psalms chapter 1 verse 1 blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of the scornful verse 2 but his delight is in the law or the word of the Lord and in his word does he meditate meditate means to mutter in his word does he mutter day and night he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season his leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper the servant of the lord would prosper you're serving him by speaking his words mm -hmm. here it says you're muttering his words day and night and you shall prosper how can he know this how can god know that if you will mutter and say his word morning and evening mm -hmm. that you would prosper mm -hmm. how could he know this well he's got yes but he's a word god and that's how he designed and built and framed the earth to obey his words and so listen when people get in line with his word and put his word in their mouth they can't but prosper mm -hmm. it shall not return void joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law or the word shall not depart out of thy mouth if it's not out of your mouth it's in your mouth but thou shalt 
meditate it's that word again to mutter thou shalt mutter it day and night that thou mayest observe to do or see how to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success again prosperous and success is based on you muttering and saying his word you want to be a success in this earth then the earth has to respond to you and it will respond to you when you speak God's word you have the faith of God so how can God possibly promise that if you mutter his word morning and evening that you would prosper because it's not based on you it's based on his word won't return void and this world will respond to it it will respond to his word which contains his faith and it will bring it to pass so if you will morning and evening speak his word his promises he will personally bring it to pass the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it he's the one who said it he's the one who's got his faith in it if i say it his word promises me that i would be blessed that i would prosper made rich no sorrow added well it's the number one way we serve him this spirit of the lord this word god we would begin to see how we'd see through the fog of your life and into his reality by speaking in agreement with his word and it becomes our new reality say it becomes, it becomes my, my new, new reality. reality if you're speaking in agreement with his word you're doing your job you're serving him and he will begin to make manifestations in your life beyond what you thought you could do because he's the one actively doing it these words are unlimited in scope when he said it is God who gives power to get wealth he didn't put a cap on it he didn't stutter when he said it each scripture has no cap on it it's unlimited and speaking these words will take you there there where there where that word said it would go if it's a healing verse of scripture where will that word on your lips take you to healing and health if it's a youth renewing scripture where will that scripture take you to youth renewal if it's a prosperity scripture the Lord my God teaches me to profit leads me by the way that I should go where will that verse of Scripture take you to prosperity and knowing the way you should go whatever I have for you will be obtained through this means of speaking the word and faith this is the way he does things if we get in line with it we could have whatever we want it's all open-ended it's up to you to go there Amen. you simply have to make up your mind say make up my mind, up my mind. that i'm going to put those verses in my mouth and keep them there Amen. until they bring themselves to pass in my life and i will have the faith of god say i, I will, have will have the faith, the faith of, god. of god let me pray for you holy ghost i thank you for these people that they've heard your word and that that faith is rising up big in them so they could overcome all those situations by the word of faith that is in the word that is in their mouth and great obstacles shall be overcome and seem extremely small we give you all the praise and glory in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering 
hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i thank you that your word is increasing in me and that i can walk in your prosperity in your wealth in your end day revival that requires of me to be blessed in every area in jesus name amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today 